come along with me as I make a 3D super textural piece of felt art. I've had this idea in my head for a while since I made a tutorial on how to make felt dandelions, which I have a free pattern for, by the way. I love the texture that these dandelions make, and so I thought, how would it look if I filled a whole canvas with them to imitate a field full of dandelions? I knew I would need a lot of flowers and that cutting the petals by hand just wouldn't make sense. I made a quick SVG file for my Cricut so it could do all the hard work. I have made the SVG public in the Cricut design space, so if you need to make like 40 some odd dandelions, uh, you can also use a Cricut if you have one. Felt can be kind of finicky to cut with a Cricut. I use the Cricut Maker 3 with the rotary blade, and I use the Strong Grip Mat and make sure to clean off the felt fuzz in between cuts. I find this works really well, especially since the lines in this pattern are all straight. The Cricut definitely struggles with curvy lines on felt, but straight lines should be no problem. So I cut a metric butt ton of this petal pattern in a few different shades of yellow. I wanted a variety in the shades so it would add a bit more depth to the final project. I even added a few that are nearly white to represent a dandelion that's gone to seed. While all those ran through the machine, I got started on the other pattern pieces needed for the dandelion, the petal center base. I did this manually so that I could do it while the cricket was busy with the petals. All I needed was some felt cut roughly one half inch by one and three quarter inch strips. A center is needed for each flower, so I cut out 40 some of those as well. The glue gun is now making its first, but far from last appearance. All the petal centers need to be rolled into little balls. It's fiddly work, but luckily I have a temperature controlled glue gun and I can glue on low power so I'm not burning my little fingertips too much. Although, does anyone else find glue gun burn, like, satisfying in a way? Please say I'm not the only one. It is a now time to paint my canvas so it can have time to dry while I assemble the flowers and make the leaves. Though only the edge of the canvas will really be seen, I wanted to paint the whole thing because I don't want any white peeking through the flowers. I started with a dark emerald green and then layered it with a more yellow green to give it, you guessed it, dimension. I based the colors off of the green felt that I had because I wanted it to be similar in tone to the leaves. Each leaf was cut out of a rectangle of felt that was about two and a half by one inch, but these were also cut by hand to give a little more variety to the leaves. All followed the same basic cutting pattern though, rounding off the sides, making diagonal snips, and then rounding off those corners. Dandelion leaves are long and slender with kind of pointed edges, so I tried to mimic that. Now it will seem like I am lying because I forgot to record it, but I first cut my strips of petals into collections of about six petals, which I then wrapped around my rolled up center. A dab of hot glue on the top and a pinch of the petals together made them look like the little center buds of dandelions. I swear I did this nearly 50 times and none of those times did I record it. But once the little buds are made, it is time to adorn them with petals. The process is simple, but the results are beautiful. The petals are wrapped around the bud and hot glued into place. Some were only one strip of petals long, some were two, and some were kind of in between to give them different sizes and, yeah, dimension, again. But now that all the pieces are finally made, it is time to assemble it all together, like so.
I am so in love with this piece. I wish I could keep it for me, but I made it for a friend to donate to a silent auction, so at least it will hopefully find a loving home. I hope you enjoyed watching this process, and if you did, please like this video and subscribe to Dano Does Things for more arts and crafts. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.